I'm here in the uh, monument of uh, John Robert Cudley. He is the founder of uh, Canterbury. And I want to uh, read my, my poem, which I want to do it this year to, to share, because I heard some comments from friends or not even known to me that uh, the poems that I'm making are inspiration to them. So I have this poem that I made dedicated to my son, uh, to our two sons anyway. So the title is I Love You. Three words, eight letters, a simple but powerful phrase. It's a music to someone ears when it's voice out to be heard. You feel secured and being cared. I love you, said our eldest son, often to me, but always to his mom. I was stunned and over the moon again. I keep working, but it sticks to my brain. I was suddenly woken from dreaming. In the field, I had a word with him, acknowledged his help, his politeness that struck me in. I said, son, those are the best words to hear, while me and your mom are still here. Rather than telling us the words when we are old, demented, and cannot hear. Words to hear in a box, or just in the mix, like a spirit floating in the air. All my life I thought adults were always right, but my son's action and words has taught me an insight. In the mountains we don't hug in over flowers. It is as long as we are safe and there is food on the table. I have come to learn and think of our kids, our health, and the world are sending us a message, a take a break, a decent rest, and a self-reflection. I wish I did have more time and told my oldest the same. We work and work, chasing the dream, but it will never end. Their chair has long been empty, but definitely not the memory. A simple hug, a simple smile, a simple note, and a lengthy call, are you okay? A precious time is now just around the corner for our kids, our friends and our oldest and families. We love you all. Have a safe and rejuvenating holiday. Take good care of one another. We share because we care. Love you, son, and thank you.